Her father, Joachim, was a direct descendant of King David, but he lived a very modest and simple life with his wife, Anna, in the city of Nazareth in Galilee. They had lived for 50 years without having a child, but they kept asking God to send them a child and made a vow to dedicate that child to God's service. Owing to their patience and faith, the Lord finally sent them a great joy as Anna had a daughter. The newborn child was given the name of Mary, which means in Hebrew, Mistress Hope. When the Virgin Mary became three years old, her parents took her to the temple in Jerusalem in order to consecrate her to God. Her parents didn't live for long after her presentation to the temple, so the Virgin Mary was left as an orphan. The Blessed Mary lived at the temple for 12 years and grew up to be obedient to God. And when she had reached her 13th birthday, according to the law, she should no longer stay at the temple and had to wed. So she was engaged formally to Joseph, the carpenter, who promised to care for her. The Virgin Mary went with Joseph to the town of Nazareth after their engagement. Three months later, when the Virgin Mary was reading the book of Isaiah, and she read, Behold, the Virgin shall conceive and be a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. She hoped to see that virgin, who the prophet Isaiah was describing, as she didn't know that she was the one. And during her thoughts, the angel Gabriel appeared to her and said, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And said also, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will, you will conceive in your womb. And bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. Mary wondered and said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? He answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest overshadow you. Therefore also, the Holy One,
who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Isaiah gives us a prophetic sign of the virginal birth. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and be the son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. Another prophet confirmed St. Mary's perpetual virginity, as he says, then he brought me back to the outer gate of the sanctuary, which faces towards the east, but it was shut. And the Lord said to me, This gate shall be shut, it shall not be opened, and no man shall enter by it. Because the Lord God of Israel has entered by it. Therefore it shall be shut, as for the prince, because he is the prince. He may sit in it, to eat bread before the Lord. He shall enter by way of the vestibule of the gateway, and go out the same way. Ezekiel 44, 1-3. During the angel Gabriel's annunciation to the Virgin Mary. He also said to her that her relative Elizabeth has also conceived a son in her old age, and it was the sixth month of her pregnancy. Then Mary said, Behold, the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Then Mary went into the hill country, to the city of Judah, and entered the house of Zacharias, and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why is this granted to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the baby leaped in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior, for he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Luke 1, 41-48 